guys, I made a huge mess. I was spraying my paper and of course my um, sprayer got clogged. My misters, of course, because what else is new, right? <laughs> anyway, so now I'm trying to like, I was trying to, it's going to be a nicer, it's going to be an excellent background. So I got this one really sprayed here, this background. So we'll see, we'll just push that to the side and pick up my paint. So I was playing and I was, as I was saying, I was doing my first scope ever, like 10 minutes ago, guys. And I'm just still like shaking. It was so exciting. I didn't know what I was doing and how, you know, my first time doing it. I put it off for a long time. I was going to scope, um, live with, um, um, the cutie crafter and Josh, um, her husband, Josh, um, I don't know. Her husband's Josh, anyways. <laughs> and um, I follow her on Periscope and her husband. Anyways, and that was way back when I was living in Calgary. And I was going to show off my craft room. And then I couldn't figure out how to use Periscope. So that didn't work. And then after that, I found out we're moving. Now I'm just gathering all this ink. And then I kind of just like, eh, maybe it's not as all it's hepped up to be. Or, you know. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to, like... Look at this mess. Anyways, but then I decided just kind of like now, seriously, just now, it's like, I'm going to Periscope. What's going to happen? No one's going to watch it. The worst possible case scenario, no one's going to watch it. And then it's going to be erased in however many hours anyway, right? So that was my... This is terrible. Guys, This these are terrible. I'm really not happy with this. Mr. Okay, this, thank goodness, didn't happen on Periscope because I would have been, like, cleaning for three minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't this terrible? Anyway, this is terrible. Look at my hands. And why do I have a video on catching this faux pas of, of a mess? Because you guys are probably going to enjoy this laugh. <laughs> so I cut, um, I bought my water paper pretty big. It's 150-pound water paper, color paper. And... I know I'm not using it for watercolor at the moment, but hey, um, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Anyway, so um, I'm just going to use my <laughs> homemade anchor. This is black. This is my alcohol ink, or this is not alcohol. This is, oh, look at my fingers. They're going to be ruined. This is um, food coloring <laughs> and water. And it's a little bit more controllable, my goodness. Kind of spreading that other stuff, too. I am so not happy with my... I tried so much to clean them and do so much with them, and I'm just getting to the point of giving up. I'm going to do one more card like this, guys. So here's my mixed media. Ugh, mess. My mess. Okay, I have um, some... What's this called? Windex in here. Let's try to clean some of this up. Because this is terrible. I'm sorry, I just Windexed my hands. <laughs> this is terrible. Anyway, so now I'm going to be spending how much time cleaning up on video? I could turn the video off, though, but... Anyways, I got really excited about the whole thing. Actually, this is kind of cool, even though it's messy, and I'm like... It's like a convenient, okay, it's messy, but I'm going to use it, make, use it to my advantage. This was my artistic plan, guys. Come on. Come on, really. This is my artistic plan. Let's go for it. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my mess. And I might just, oh, those misters really tick me off. Right now they are. Sorry, decor, but they are ticking me off a little bit. There's got to be a different plan. There's got to be a better plan. I swear, you guys, I am trying my best to what keep them clean and everything. I don't know. They're great when you first get them, but it's making it a little bit difficult for me. And I'm totally being honest about this. Um... I do have, I am in part of that deco, uh, the thing. 
the um, Helping Artists program. So I do get them, um, but I will not be getting any more. So even that they're free for my program, um, I, I'm not going to put my girls through that because I do do workshops um, with youth, young girls, um, not like, you know, teen girls. And um, I don't want to torture them with with the stress of <laughs> the, the clogging and all that kind of stuff. So, although when I first got them, I was really excited about using them with the girls. So anyways, this is my background. And now it's five minutes of chatter. I'm going to stop the video for drawing to make. Dry my background here a little bit. So this is my mess. What I did was I kind of sprayed some of this teal shimmer teal because I just want touches of color now because I just don't even want to put too much color in it. But I'm just playing with that just because I... Eh, why not, right? So I'm kind of um, doing that purple now. Let's see. Let's see here. I'm just going to do a little bit of a purple background right there just because they're not quite as dark as I want to. And I'm not going to... I don't think purple will show up on there, but... Just for background effect, really, I just want to um, want to have darker backgrounds on these ones. But like I said, it didn't show. See what I can get with these to see, because I don't want it to get like clunky. And there we go. I don't want to get clunky or anything. So now I'm just kind of playing with it and seeing what I can get for my backgrounds. I am making it up. See this yellow? Hmm, got to go. It's really frustrating when your paints get where it's like they have a mind of their own. Although, if it looks great, it's all my fault. Just saying. <laughs> so, I'm going to dry these up, 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 up. Manually, manually moving my camera. For shame. <laughs> anyway. Crazy. Okay, this is my craziness here. No, these are this um, mess, and I made a mess. Look at my paint. It's all messy. It's full of paint. <laughs> it's full of... Um, I'm just going to wipe them off and start over. I think I'll leave my white, though. Start over my green. This is a non-stick background that I got from um, uh, Happy Mail. So, I love it. <sighs> It's kind of convenient on cleaning. Um, so I'm just going to throw my red back down. And and I'm getting a lot of messages right now. So sorry about the buzz. And um, I'm going to do my green again. So I'm just going to reenact, except for the background. This is uh, what I'm going to show you guys the cards. I did the background a little bit different because my I was making a huge mess. And then I decided to throw more colors on there since it was making a big splotchy mess anyway we'll see how it works for my background but this is my original excuse me I have allergies or a cold happening here too so this is my original one I, I taped it down to this board here to the, my table and then I was kind of doing it one-handedly because I was holding my phone the other hand on the look at me on the periscope and I was like I said I was kind of redoing um, Mark Mantano's canvas on the the vintage art flower things so this is the second one I kind of did a second one too and another periscope I was like not doing a very good job um doing a very good job of keeping it on there so I might I made a mess I mess here guys so if you can live with that for this duration of this video which I'm not sure I can I think I've become a more of a messy artist over the time. You guys are, if you look through my history on my YouTube. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just basically making little shapes of flowers. And they're kind of going to be oval-y. For me, this is what makes me happy. Kind of oval. I'm going to do a kind of couple of petal shapes like this. One, two, three, four. Let's do uh, five. And... Nothing seriously um, perfect or anything like that. So I'm just going to do some stems or some leaves shapes. And 
So this one here is just going to have like that. Basically, that's it. Um, kind of make it up as I go along here, guys. That's all I do. Seriously, that's all I do. So now I'm just kind of... That is what I did. So I had my basic back down. Um, that's basically what was done on the video as well. And then you dry this up. I'm going to move my other sheets out of the way. I'm going to dry this up quickly. Pretty quickly. Then I'm going to add my next color, which is going to be the orange. I just did these colors here, the orange, the red. Um, it's like a rosy color. And then the, excuse me, the um, green and teal. So you can even mix up your colors a bit, whatever. It's whatever you want, really. So this is it. As messy as this, this is it. You guys are probably thinking, what kind of artist are you? But this is it. Um, sometimes it can be just fun and messy because I mean, if art was just, for me, it's fun and messy too. I mean, just that's just the way it is, really. It's both. So I'm going. I'm kind of mixing all my colors. This one. This is the first one I'm doing that with, but just in the mood now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my teal. Yes, I got some sprayed whatever on there, black. But I'm just putting teal on my leaves. And I'm grabbing some green for some of them. And I'm not even cleaning off my brush now. Now I'm going crazy. So. So I'm just kind of like losing it. So this one here was actually supposed to be a leaf. But somehow I messed that up. Going too quickly maybe? Okay, I'm going to dry that up. I've been using my calligraphy pen a lot and I'm hoping that, okay. So basically what I've been doing, the same thing as what was done on, on you know, before, just kind of making my flower shape, making my petal shape, that kind of thing. Almost dipped out in, pet, in, in, in paint. And just really just jotting it down, really. And I'll move it closer. Oh, yeah, with my manual. <laughs> it's not automatic, it's my manual. Anyway, so I'm just kind of making my flower petals like this and, and trying not to scare people with my art, really. And this is like just going to be my um, postcards that I send off to some of you. It's just fun, release, fun and easy. Really. And that's all it is. You can make it as just details as you want or you can go totally crazy like me and be just totally random my paint is still not quite dry and then yeah have fun with it that's all the most important thing 
really. So this is what I did, except for one hand, <laughs> on my um, periscope. That was fun. It was actually not bad at all. I got, you know, a few people that commented and respond and even messaged me back after, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I think that was basically it, and I got a little bit of a different background than um, before there, so I kind of like that. And there it is. It's kind of cool. You can do it a little nicer or whatever, but it's whatever we want to do for our for our things here. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna like take a second to kind of show you. I'm gonna dry this all off, right? So then it's gonna be nice like this and and pretty cool little um postcards to send off. So fun. Fun little art cards. So I hope you guys like this. And yeah, don't forget to craft like a duck and have fun. If you guys are making some postcards, do something really cool. Talk to you guys later. Bye.